Yeah, hello there. Let's start with news that uh, this morning another Dreamliner 787 flight has been cancelled. This time due to brake problems. It's the third incident in two days. Shares in Boeing, the manufacturer, uh, fell overnight in New York after a fuel leak was discovered on a 787 Dreamliner as it prepared for takeoff. 40 gallons of fuel spilled from a Japan Airlines aircraft yesterday after it left the gate at Boston's Logan Airport. No one was hurt. Uh, on Monday, meanwhile, an electrical fire bow broke out on board another Dreamliner 787 operated by the same airline at the same airport. Joining me now, David Learmont, who's the safety editor at Flight Global. Uh, Mr Learmont, uh, what action, if any, should Boeing be taking in light of what's happened over the last couple of days? Well, the, um, the Federal Aviation Administration in the States, that's the um, uh, Civil Aviation Authority equivalent uh, there, uh, will be looking at the, this with great care because what we had here um, in the fire event at Boston Logan um, is a lithium battery fire which produces intense heat. Now, the fire services managed to contain the damage caused by this uh, within a very small area, area within the aeroplane. Um, uh, but, um, you know, there's no way that anybody is trying to talk down the seriousness of this. Now, the other two events that you just noticed, those are totally unconnected and, and probably th those are instantly fixable issues um, and, and not long term. The lithium battery fire issue is long term. That has to be solved. Uh, a battery fire, fuel spillage, brake failure. Is the 787 safe? Um, the 787 has been certificated by the Federal Aviation Administration as being a safe aeroplane. As you know, it's fairly newly into service. It's been in service for about a year now. There are about 50 of them out there. It's, it's terribly important that Boeing gets this right, and they know that. I wouldn't have to tell them. That aeroplane sold more aircraft before it even started being made on the production line than any other aircraft in history. British Airways has ordered a lot of them. Most of the major airlines of the world have ordered this type. So it's terribly important that Boeing gets this right. It's not particularly surprising that its uh, share price has taken a hit today because just of this fire on board issue. Um, in terms of, I mean, this is an aircraft that came into operation, didn't it, in September 2011. Uh, the issues that we've seen in the last couple of days aren't the first problems that have been reported. There were reports last month of problems on a flight uh, to New York uh, involving a United Airlines uh, flight and also Qatar Airways also reported issues. It grounded a flight uh, because of a faulty generator in that uh, instance. Uh, I mean, I suppose I wonder whether th there is a, a significant problem in, in Boeing's... I mean, if you were working for Boeing, would you be considering a, a recall? Uh, I don't think we're going to see anything like a recall, but what you'll find, actually, if you check around all the different news sources, is that you'll find that um, everybody who's actually got 787s working at the moment, um, as soon as anybody reports a problem, they report that they've carried out inspections to ensure that they haven't got the same problem which is just waiting to happen. 